So I get continued requests on how do I make a sushi cake. So today I'm going to show you exactly what I do to make my husband's birthday sushi cake instead of a sweet cake. So follow closely and comment below if you have questions. So first things first, I like to get all my ingredients laid out so I don't have to worry about them being in a different place. I start off by making some special jasmine moonshine rice. It's a pearly grain, which with the research I did, it's a little bit better for sushi rice. So I soak the rice for 30 minutes and then I add it to my rice cooker for however long it needs to cook, however much you put in. And I add in sea salt and cane sugar. And this is the end result. Sushi rice. So now you need to have a cake pan, which I have right here. And what I'm gonna start off with is some nori nori. And this is the best way to layer it. Take out one sheet, lay it flat in the bottom, and it fits pretty close to the full size. Sometimes you can cross if they don't. I'm just going to leave it as is. So now we have tuna sashimi, I have salmon sashimi, and I have some eel. And I'm going to start off by taking some of the rice and just mixing it up here. Just make sure that it isn't too sticky, but it's not too cold either. So then I'm literally just going to plop it on in there. And don't burn yourself. This is a mistake I made. You put it on the nori nori and it'll start to heat it. Well, if the rice is too warm, then you get some issues with it just sticking everywhere. So I'm just gonna spread it out. It helps to have a, another wooden or bamboo spoon. I used to have one and then I broke it. Apparently too many gym sessions I ended up breaking. You just want to spread it around, make about a half inch of a layer. And there we go. Now we're going to cut up some of the shishimi. That way you can start spreading it out on the layers. Make sure you rinse off your fish. The only one I won't rinse is the eel because the eel is already cooked. And it has eel sauce on it, which is the best part. Oh, and I don't need these because I will already have those. Perfect. So I have rinsed off my tuna and salmon. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the salmon into three slices in width so that it's a little bit more thin when I layer it because I'm actually gonna keep it the current um, depth that it is. So it's pretty thick as far as a piece of fish goes. But like I said, I don't wanna have to fiddle with it. Now the tuna, that's a whole nother <laughs> ordeal. Look at how thick this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut this way and I'm going to cut these in half. So now make myself some room. I'm going to cut the salmon first.
some of that and cut some tuna. That's a little wide. So because these pieces are wider, I'm cutting them a little bit thinner. If you were at a restaurant, you would definitely not get this big of sashimi. Trying not to cut myself, very important. All right, so now we've got this here and we're going to go What I normally do is I'll layer one layer with one type of fish, the next layer with the next type of fish, and the third layer will be an assortment normally. That way, no matter what size the person gets, they get to have some of all the types of fishes. Look at that, it worked out perfectly. So now we're going to add, you can either add your next layer of rice or what I do sometimes is I'll mix in some of the salmon roe that's just fish eggs and I can put that in between. I also have some ginger, but I usually garnish the top with the ginger and then some seaweed. I'm going to actually put some seaweed in here. Just to in a little bit of flavor and you can use seaweed I will also add some sriracha my sister is participating in this as well but she doesn't like sriracha so I'm gonna have to make probably one spot not have sriracha so and actually I forgot to mention I always add a piece of nori in between the layers of fish. So I'm going to add the nori now. If I can grab it. I'm actually going to double layer this one since it's in the middle. rice again. Since it's cooled down, I can actually use my hand now. It was a little bit too hot before. And like I said, you can get these little bamboo rice spreaders. I don't know what they're actually called. It's like a little rice spoon that Asian culture uses. Clearly, I'm not following the Asian culture technique here. Now you can add a lot thicker of a rice layer if you want. I am choosing not to because this cake is going to be pretty dang thick. So I cooked two cups worth of rice. Some people you might want to do three if you're going to do bigger or maybe if you want to do like little I didn't think about this before, but you can do like little sushi cupcakes. If you got a, a cupcake muffin pan, that'd be super fun. You just have to cut up the nori and do it that way. Maybe I'll do that next year. All right, so that is our second layer. Now I'm going to add the salmon. Now, I don't have as much salmon here, so I think I'm going to intermix some of the fish roe 
in here as well. But I could also just add in more tuna too. Maybe that's what I'll do. Put salmon on the outside and tuna on the inside. Oh yeah, I still have eel. I can do eel. Let's do the eel. Salmon and eel it is. And do halfsies. Well, nah, we're gonna we're gonna be fancy. It's a birthday cake after all. You can make this for any type of event you want. I will say they are a little pricey. So this is about an $80, $60 sushi cake that I'm making because of the amount of the sushi grade fish that I did buy. If you're gonna buy, like, uh, if you just buy like the tuna itself, that's probably gonna be $25. So, just for reference there. And now, I'm gonna move this over. Cut up some eel. Eel is a little bit more chewy. But it tastes so good. This actually is like frozen. small pieces in the middle really so fun all right I'm gonna do do I want fish row yeah let's do some row in this layer Notice my one hand is kind of eel-like. Oh my gosh, it's a little bit all up in my hand. I'm gonna have to wash so that these don't go to waste. All right, so I'm gonna take the spoon this time. I'm just gonna mix some around in here. They can sometimes have a couple different row colors. I actually am not sure if that's just like a different type of fish, what it actually means, because row is fish eggs. So it has a little bit of texture, a little bit of sweetness and flavor, and color, which is why I save most of them for like the top and the decoration of it. All right. Cool. So we have that all done. And now we're going to do another layer. I'm gonna do two sheets again. If you press down on it, it'll help it stay together a little bit better too. So it gives it a chance to push down on your cake. Okay, so we're doing more rice. who first told me about 
making sushi cakes, but I was like, man, that sounds like a great idea. Even though I really like to bake, I was like, I'm just up for the challenge. And here we are. Challenge accepted. Year three or four of me making these. I think three. But I've technically, I made four cakes. This is the third year for David's birthday. I forget when I made the other one for. It was like maybe our anniversary or something. I think that's what it was. the last of this shishimi and this is where it gets really fun so you can add toppings like cucumber you can add a, um, avocado you can shred up some carrots oh my gosh I just got a spiralizer I'm gonna add some shredded carrots Holy, these pieces are thick. All right, so this is the final layer. You can decorate it however you like. I just try and make it pretty, like either spacing them out or making some type of cute design. Usually if I'm trying to write something, I don't recommend doing with the sashimi because it's hard to read it. So you can also use some sriracha. I use like an organic sriracha, um, cucumber, avocado, get some wasabi for anybody who might like wasabi and enjoy.
like I said, I'm not going to put the sriracha on just yet, but I think it's pretty. And you want to set it in the refrigerator for about an hour to two hours to set. Otherwise, the rice can sometimes fall apart from the um, nori nori sheets. So, hope you guys liked it. Go try making a sushi cake and let me know how it goes.